Alright. Let's talk about people. Let's talk about people. I'm a person, you're a person. Just another version of another person. I need Batman right now. I need Batman. I need the signal put out. Um, people in... See, I don't like to say people in general or statistics or 70% or 90% because uh, your calculator's batteries are dying. Okay, when you put out these percents and you act like you're like this mathematical idiot, you don't know. Okay, it's like saying um, one out of ten people suck at life, and that can be broadcast on the news, and people will be like, oh my god. One out of ten people suck at life. Well, how do you suck at life? You know? It's like saying... 20% of America... Believes... That... If they step on dog shit... And have diarrhea the next day... They may be a dog. I mean, we could come up with anything. So, all right, let's just get to the point here. People are sheep. Bah! Sheep. Sheep. You are sheep. I'm not lying to you. You are sheep. And I'm a sheep. And that's all it is. So, let's talk about people. People, 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 people. Oh, we got all this stuff going on. We got a lot of stuff that's good, but all the bad. See, everybody's like, hey, damn, and he's pointing out the bad. He's pointing out the bad. But you got to point out the bad to get to the good, right? Because, like, what's good? Do you see it on the news? Anything good? Is there breaking news? Like, hey, this guy just helped a little lady across the street in a wheelchair. Breaking news. No, you don't see that. You will never see that. Maybe you will one day if this is Great Awakening. But you don't see that. Breaking news. Um... Shooter in Seattle, Washington, or wherever in Washington, just killed another student, and blah blah blah. Well, that's actually news, cause that that stuff happens. But all this other stuff, oh my god, they really have people warped. They have me warped. I am warped. I'm telling you, I am warped. I'm trying to unwarp myself. But it's tough. Um, people. Let's go back to people. It's a lot of stupid people out there. It's a secret. I, you know, I don't want people coming to my house and saying... Bunch of stupid people. I don't know what stupid people might do. And if you think I'm talking about you, then I'm probably talking about you. Why else would you think that you're stupid? Why would you take offense to that? But anyway, back to the stupid people. So, there's some people in people history that are stupid. How do you deal with stupid people? Uh, 
they got this book called um, what is it? Dummies, uh, dummies, yeah, or the idiot's guide to this. Dummies guide to that. When it should be an opposite book to the that. I mean, dummies. They actually have books about you, you stupid people. There's books that say the idiot book about this and the dummies about this. And nobody even notices this. Okay? So get your stupid book or your idiot book and start reading it. Because they're talking about you. <laughs> oh my god. I don't, I, I don't want to laugh. I'm trying to hold myself back from laughing. But it's so... Crazy. These people are dumb. They don't want to listen. They actually believe that this country. See, I say they because they is. I, I'm thinking it's starting to be a minority. I'm hope, hoping it's a minority. Because if it's a majority, man, this country's screwed. It's effed up, man. We need the militias. We need this stuff. This Ebola stuff. You know what? Ebola, 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 Ebola. It's happening. People want to hide from it and say, "Oh, it's it's not happening." Uh, oh my God, it's not happening. Cause I don't have Ebola. Oh, you don't have Ebola? Well, somebody does. And go to West Africa. But you won't. And I won't either. I don't blame you. But just know what's going on. Educate yourself. Stop being stupid. Stop being dumb. It is a mad world. It's a mad, mad world. And until we can start enjoying things again, we need to tackle the issues, okay? We need to go back to 9-11-01, okay? That's historical. I mean, the birth of Jesus is historical. This is historical, too. And if you don't think so, well, I don't know what to tell you. The big cover-up. There wouldn't be all these 9-11 truthers. Oh, why are people questioning it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because it doesn't make sense. Why aren't people questioning it? That's the question. And they call people conspiracy theorists. Well, there are conspiracy theorists. And their conspiracies are crazy. But this one isn't. There is... So much to this that people don't want to investigate it. They just want to go about their merry way and say, hey, you know, I wasn't in the building. I didn't have to jump out of a window. I didn't have my skin burned to death. But we're going to blame Al-Qaeda and, you know, Osama Bin Laden. And 19 hijackers with box cutters that took over a plane and flew them exactly into their targets. I mean, dude, they must have been very good pilots because they put that on the news. They went to Florida and they were practicing to be pilots. So, that practice made them fly at a speed at that altitude and directly hit their targets. Wow. That's amazing, man. We really should be scared of them. Because if they can do that, they can do anything, man. Because, like, damn. Are you really that fucking stupid? Seriously, are you? Because you should trade places with the person in the World Trade Center that had to die and burn to death. 
okay? The people that had no breath. You should trade places with them so they could live and you can die. You need to die, okay? I get it when Bill Gates says that people need to die, but he's got it twisted in a different way. The people that need to die are the people who want to defy what is really going on. Okay, I'm not for eugenics, I'm not for this shit, but I'm for stupid people, they need to be ISIS, I don't know, I don't agree with them, they should come up with another group that chops off stupid people's heads. I am from the stupid police, and I'm going to chop off this stupid person's head. I don't blame anyone except this stupid person. So, off with his head. And show the whole thing. So stupid people could start waking up. And I'm not being sarcastic. I'm being brutally honest. <laughs> You're stupid. And I'm sick of it. As you can see. As you can hear. When will they have an app when you can <laughs> smell... The bullshit from people. We need to get that. An app with all our senses. Because people don't have sense. What would I rack? We could keep going. We could we, we just could keep going and going. Okay? I'm not going to talk about Iraq. Maybe in another video. Or maybe I will right now. Iraq. Saddam Hussein. Find him in a hole. But you can't find Osama Bin Laden, but you're going to find the president of Iraq in a hole. Wow. Man. And, and I got to call you out. Most people on Facebook. You're stupid. You are stupid. I got like 297 friends. I hope by tomorrow I have one. And that's me. Because you're stupid. You don't want to talk about anything except bullshit. Oh, the weather. It's so cold. I can't believe it's so cold. I've done it. It's so cold in September. The world's about to end. Meanwhile, Ebola's in this country. Um, it's so cold. It must be a message from Jesus. Oh my God, God said the world would end when, um, you know, you can't tell the difference between summer and winter. What? Shut the fuck up. And it makes me look bad to curse. I know it makes me look bad to curse. But people are freaking stupid. Winter, summer. I don't mean to be a bummer. But there's a lot more stuff going on than the weather, okay? Even though I haven't actually seen a weather report in a long time. It's just this shit and how they spin it. Like Bill O'Reilly says, the spin stops here when he's spinning it in your ear. Police. Corporate news channels. And then they like, like, I, actually, I gotta respect CNN because they have the show called, like, This Is Life. And, like, they want to show, like, the hum humanity side of living at the same time. They're giving you a bunch of propaganda. So I gotta give them that. They're actually smarter than Fox News because Fox News, all they do is, like, they're like, Whew. Sean Hannity, Huckleberry, Huckleberry, Huckleberry. Listen, just because someone says that they're Christian, don't mean they are. Huckleberry needs to fuck a cherry. Find a cherry and do it. I'm sick of it, man. All you people. All these politicians, all these Huckleberries and Dick Cheney's and 
Obamians, I'm going to call them Obamians, these Democrats, these fake Democrats, because if you study history, you know about the Democrats, and this is not Democrats, it's the opposite, it's the total opposite, fucking stupid, just stupid, I'm sick of it, I want you to start researching stuff, look it up. Stop being so comfortable with your life. So I I think that you just want to kill yourself. So do it. I don't mean to say that. You shouldn't do that. Don't kill yourself. We need you. We need you. Stupid people. We need you. Just like I need hemorrhoids. So, Bill, so, once again, Bill Gates is right. People, people need to be washed off of the earth. While they give people SSRIs and want them to die. Okay, Prozac and Paxil and Lexapro and all this shit. And they wonder why people turn sick. My hope is that one day I won't have to wear a mask to go out in public. You know what I mean? Um, because that's where it's going. I mean, this is just the start of stuff. This is the beginning of stuff. Like I said before, in a year we'll know, right? If it was a hope or Ebola just got quarantined and it's done or it's really bad and for people to be naive and say oh no 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 I say yes 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 it yes I guess you'd be in purgatory if you said maybe <laughs>